Hi guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, over-the-top beautiful day here in the middle of the collapse of global industrial civilization. We have made it to Friday, July 31st, 2020, another month down in the summer of 2020. We're looking at about 78 degrees for the high today and uh, Got a lot to do today, so uh, let me get on with it. And uh, oh yes, my name is Sam Mitchell. This is Collapse Chronicles. This is my little, my little co-pilot, Sancho Panza. And we're going to be doing what we do every Friday here at Collapse Chronicles, and that is heading over to MangaBay.com to see what Rhett Butler and the boys and girls at Manga Bay have to tell us about how this planet has been collapsing into uh, just whatever we're collapsing into. We'll find out soon enough in the past week. Uh, just a quick mention before I dive into Manga Bay. What are those lefties over there at Avaz up to? I like to check in and see how Avaz is saving the planet with their uh, little petitions. <clears throat> Dear friends, <coughs> the corona panic has upended human life in a million ways, and now it is about to wreak havoc on wildlife. It is not about to wreak havoc on wildlife. It has been wreaking havoc on wildlife for about five months now. <clears throat> Elephants, rhinos, gorillas, and pangolins. Their survival depends on delicate shoestring budgets to fund their protection, and now Corona Panic has butchered that lifeline. An army of 40,000 rangers once protected these incredible animals, <coughs> now half of them could lose their jobs, leaving wildlife at the mercy of poachers and criminals. So uh, now half could lose their jobs. 80% have already lost their jobs. So go on to advise and uh, save the planet from corona panic by trying to pay these rangers salaries. Okay, but now let's move over to uh, Manga Bay. Wow, the numbers are in. <coughs> 2019 was the deadliest year ever for environmental activists. In a new report, the watchdog group, it would have been nice, I'm pretty sure this is Global Witness, uh, says that at least 212 environment and land defenders were killed across the world in 2019. The deadliest country was Colombia with 64 dead and the Philippines with 43 dead despite making up only 5% of the world's population, representatives of indigenous communities accounted for 40% of those killed. Killings related to agribusiness jumped by 60% last year uh, as consumption of commodities like beef and palm oil increases, so too will conflict over land. And uh, it might be here later in Manga Bay, you might have read the mainstream media story this week that, you, that they're now claiming that three, three billion animals were basically turned into crispy critters in the fire season in Australia last year. Three billion, but we're gonna go, what is going on over in the Brazilian Amazon? 
this isn't specifically related to fires, but you better believe the fires are doing their part. <clears throat> Brazilian Amazon drained of millions of wild animals by criminal networks. A new 140-page report is shining a bright light on illegal wildlife trafficking in the Brazilian Amazon. The study finds that millions of birds, tropical fish, turtles, and mammals are being plucked from the wild and traded domestically or exported to the U.S., the EU, China, the Mid Middle East, and elsewhere. Many of these species are endangered. This illicit international trade is facilitated by weak laws, weak penalties, inadequate government record keeping, poor law enforcement, as well as widespread corruption, bribery, fraud, forgery, money laundering, and smuggling. Yes. While some animals are seized and some low-level smugglers are called the organizers of this global criminal enterprise are rarely brought to justice. Uh, what is their video of the week? Overfished. We mentioned this story last week about Madagascar's sea cucumber fisheries under threat from overfishing. Yes. Okay, what is going on with migratory freshwater fish? You can imagine what's going on with migratory freshwater fish. They are in peril as populations plunge. A new report finds that migratory freshwater fish species have declined on a global scale by 76 percent. 76 percent since 1970 with the highest drops experienced in Europe. The biggest threat to migratory freshwater fish, like everything else, is habitat degradation or alteration such as dams, culverts, and road crossings, while other threats include habitat loss, overfishing, pollution, and more and more climate change. Yes, they talk about uh, removing dams. Uh, I hear there's some big move to take out a some more dams along the California-Oregon border. You see that chippy's right out in the door like that. No, you cannot go get that chippy. I know that you want to get the chippy, but you cannot get that chippy like that. You have to wait to get the chippy. This is Sancho Panza is a threat to the uh, chipmunk population here at uh, Bugs in a Jar Farm. I don't think he's killed one yet. <clears throat> anyway, uh, more, more about the looming salamander apocalypse. Uh, now looking at the hellbender. I love that name, hellbender. These two foot long salamanders. Uh, anyway, you can kiss goodbye, the hellbender. All right. <clears throat> well, now I'm just skipping over a lot, guys. Uh, burning down the house and Viva's giant U.S. wood pellet plants gear up. Yes. An outdated Kyoto Climate Agreement policy grandfathered into the 2015 Paris Agreement counts electrical energy produced by burning biomass, otherwise known as wood pellets, as carbon neutral. However, new science demonstrates that burning forest 
for energy is in fact dirtier than burning coal and not carbon neutral in the short term. Yes. <clears throat> but with this carbon accounting loophole still on the books, European Union nations and other countries are rushing to convert coal plants to burn wood pellets. Uh, <clears throat> yes, and the forest industry is also capitalizing on the loophole, building large new wood pellet factories and logging operations in places like the U.S. Southeast, cutting down forest, pelletizing trees, a new word for the end times, pelletizing trees and exporting biomass. Yes, there are two giant plants now being built uh, by the Enviva Corporation in Mississippi and Alabama. Um, these corporations can only make biomass profitable by relying on government subsidies. In the end, forest are lost. Yes, do you think so? Anyway, uh, moving a lot. Again, guys, I'm skipping over a lot of this. You will not believe this. The upgrade of the Indonesian palm oil certification falls short. Yes, the Indonesian government's planned update to its palm oil sustainability certification program does not do enough hmm, to protect indigenous communities from land grabs or prevent the destruction of forest. Yes, the Indonesia Sustainable Palm Oil Scheme that's kind of like the Sancho Panza Chipmunk Protection Scheme. Yes. Uh, fails to explicitly call for the protection of secondary forest, allowing an area greater than the size of California to potentially be cleared for more palm oil plan. Do you think so? Uh, more about attacks on environmental defenders, criminalizing dissent, and martial law fuel attacks on Philippine environmental defenders. Uh, attacks on environmental and land defenders in the Philippines have escalated under President Rodrigo Duterte, uh, as we mentioned, 43 deaths. Uh, a total of 119 environmental defenders have been murdered uh, since Duterte took office in mid-2016. Yes. Most of the casualties in the global tally are from mining and agribusiness. Yes. Uh, okay, did you know that World's Tiger Day went right by me without two days ago? July 29th was World Tiger Day. Yes. You will not believe that that uh, a recent survey of people charged with managing 40 protected tiger reserves uh, reveals that funding for half of them has been cut since the corona panic began. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, more about these Chinese fishing boats 
I don't know if Manga Bay is covering, I guess, the mainstream media is actually doing a good job of covering this invasion of 260 of these giant Chinese fishing trawlers fishing near the Galapagos Islands in the middle of nowhere, calling it a small city of these giant boats. Maybe Manga Bay is going to get to this later. All right. Um, we need a green life support plan. Yes, we do. Uh, this is talking about ecotourism in sub-Saharan Africa. But with the collapse of international tourism uh, in response to the corona panic, sub-Saharan African countries are facing credit rating downgrade risks, putting conservation funding at risk. Do you think so? Without income from nature-based tourism, many small and medium-sized enterprises are, are, are closing and wildlife conservation will be seriously compromised. Yes, as locals could be incentivized to convert conservation land into agriculture production and partake in illegal activities. Yes, called uh, eating our fellow earthlings. Yep. Chalk it up to the corona panic. What's going on with the Amazon's rarest wild dog? Would you believe that deforestation is a very real threat to Amazon's rarest wild dog? Yes, this is the short-eared dog. Could lose 30% of its habitat in the next seven years. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Uh, good Lord, we have a guys. I, I'm only touching on about half of these stories. I highly suggest you just go over to mangabay.com and get this newsletter delivered into your own email box. Okay. Um, So, well, no, I'm moving on. Uh, anyway, guys, there there is too much here for me to get uh, involved in. All right, we have a new ambitious conservation project to save the Amazon rainforest. Uh-huh. Good luck on that. Uh, saving the science panel for the Amazon. A group of 150 experts studying the collapse of the uh, the Amazon rainforest. We'll get plenty more about that. Like the next very story, you will not believe this, say that a new investigation links meat giant JBS to Amazon deforestation. Wow, who would have thunk it? that a beef processing facility giant uh, is linked to Amazon deforestation. Yes. Oh, God. Here is a big, some, you know, I can't believe that some uh, big ass tourism project is uh, breaking ground in Indonesia. Anyway.
There's a story about human elephant conflict. Yes, how to uh, how to stop human elephant conflict is to uh, stop humans. Yes. Good Lord. Okay, you will not believe this. Canada is not walking the talk on its minors' abuses abroad. Canada is the home base for nearly half of the world's mining companies, but the country's efforts to improve corporate accountability for environmental and human rights violations have fallen short. Yes. Uh, do you think so? Uh, here's a story on Madagascar's beef industry. Good Lord. You know... All right, the techno-utopians are out to save the global food supply. Bubbles, lasers, and robot bees, the blossoming industry of artificial pollination, 90% of flowering plants require the help of animal pollinators to reproduce, including most of the food crops we eat but massive declines in the population of bees, the most efficient pollinators, and the rising cost to farmers of renting them to pollinate their crops has spurred the growth of the artificial pollination industry. So we now have the delivery of pollen by drones and laser-guided vehicles, and even dispersal via soap bubbles. Good Lord. Uh, okay, here is the, the newest word for the collapse of uh, the planet. Neobium. Neobium. We'll have a new, new word for the glossary for the end times. Neobium mining in the Brazilian Amazon would cause significant forest loss. A recent study found that large-scale neobium mining proposals, if carried out in the remote northwest portion of the Brazilian Amazon, would likely cause significant forest loss and threaten biodiversity and fragile ecosystems. The study comes as President Jair Bozo Nero pushes for an expansion of industrial mining into indigenous lands while his administration turns a blind eye to expanding illegal mining that is already threatening indigenous communities in the northern Amazon. Yes, there are two known Nemobium deposits in the region, which is home to 23 indigenous groups, and the area holds vast tracts of undisturbed rainforest rich in bi biodiversity. Uh, not sure what neobium is used for. It's probably somewhere in this damn computer. What is going on with sharks? Sharks are now functionally extinct in many global reef systems. A new study surveyed 371 coral reefs in 58 countries and found that sharks were virtually absent from 20% of the surveyed reefs, indicating that they are functionally extinct from these ecosystems. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Okay. Photos show scale of massive fires tearing through Siberian forest. Yes. Uh, it is estimated that fires 
have burnt 21 million hectares, that's 50 million acres of land, uh, of land, including 11 million, so 20 million hectares is 50 million acres of land, 11 million hectares of that, which is 28 million acres. Uh, since the start of 2020, the wildfires are being helped by unusually warm temperatures, including uh, the hottest temperature ever recorded inside the Arctic Circle this summer. Uh, there you go. All right. Here we go. How about expand conserved areas to boost global economy ravaged by corona panic? Uh-huh. Good luck on that. D D. <clears throat> All right, one more, guys. I have a lot on my plate today. We're going to end up in Boracay, the island of Boracay in the Philippines to wrap up today's uh, roundup. In picturesque Boracay, a crown of thorns starfish infestation is eating the reef. The coral reef surrounding the resort island of Boracay <clears throat> is under attack from a crown of thorns starfish infestation. Yes. Local officials receiving reports of a possible outbreak were not able to confirm, confirm it for four months because of the corona panic lockdown. Yes. Uh, Anyway, guys, the crown of thorns starfish, you know, it, it, it just never ends. It never ends. So anyway, I've got to get on with my day. I'm uh, actually starting to figure out exactly where my new cabin to survive the uh, collapse of civilization. I'm placing my new cabin up out of the floodplain so I can actually see the shape it's taken. So I'm going to get up there into the woods and enjoy this spectacularly gorgeous day here on the planet. I urge you to do the same. Uh, if you enjoyed what Manga Bay had to share with you, please spend a sec few seconds to thumb up this video and by all means subscribe to Collapse Chronicles and then get out there and enjoy this planet while you still can, although it's getting harder to do that. But at least if you live in upstate New York, you can for one more day because it is a spectacularly gorgeous day. Bye guys. Okay, little dog. That is enough ranting. Well, we can go up to the woods. And you can get chippies up there in the woods. You can get your chippies. Remember that chippy you got up the tree yesterday like that? I bet that chippy's still there. Do you think the chippy's still there or not? <laughs>